Dreams do not have a filter that your normal, polite, waking self puts up. Welcome to the hidden meaning of dreams with Sweet Georgia Pam. It does matter what the dreamer themselves associates with those things that come up in the dream. Spiritual director, dream expert, author, and educator, Sweet Georgia Pam is here to remind us that dreams are the answer. They're always with you. They know you better than you know yourself, and they're always trying to tell you the truth. There's some back and forth here between you and some awareness. And now your host, Melissa Carter. SweetGeorgiaPam.com is the website you need to go to to find out all kinds of cool stuff about Pam and also some free stuff we'll tell you about in a minute. You can also find her on social media, Sweet Georgia Pam. So today I have a dream from singer, songwriter, actress, Haley Kiyoko. And Pam, she said, I had a dream last night. I was playing board games with Taylor Swift and Shawn Mendes on this marble couch Never got to find out who won, LOL. A marble couch? <laughs> marble couch. All She's right. playing board games with Taylor Swift and Shawn Mendes on a marble couch and then okay. did not dream to the end of the game. <laughs> nice. So we've got dreaming of celebrity. Mm-hmm. We've got board games and a couch that has some descriptors to it. Okay. Is that how, so is that how you, when you look at a dream, you kind of um, bullet pointing the, the main things that you recognize as something meaningful? Yeah, I do. I do. I kind of map it out in those like compartments and then I break down each compartment. And what ends up happening is sometimes if I'm lucky, we come up with sort of a summation of like, oh, then this might mean this mm-hmm. because you're looking at each separately, but then you're looking at how they might be speaking to each other, those symbols, how they might be sharing right. in that space. And that's when I do sessions with people, that's what it's like. They do this big brain dump, this like, here's everything about the dream. And then I'm mapping it. Then I go, okay, this is this. Th- and then I just kind of hop around because that's how my brain works. I just hop around symbolically. Mm-hmm. And then we put it all together at the end. It starts cool. to make sense. All right. All right. Okay. Haley, here's your dream, love. Okay. So it's interesting because the marble couch is call- is the first thing that catches my eye. And the reason it does is because there's a descriptor. When something has greater detail than the other things, then it means that you've got your unconscious mind has like put more time and effort into that thing because it's important. Okay. Mm -hmm. The first thing, so marble is, is two different ideas. You could think of marble as stone marble or marbling texture pattern. Mm -hmm. We don't know which it is. So that would be a clarifying question I would ask in session with the dreamer is tell me more about this couch. Right. Right. Because I, yes, I had a thought of just one of those things, but never thought about the other. Right. Which one did you think of? The hard, I, cause I was like a marble couch, but I never thought of the pattern being marble. Right. Yeah. So that, yeah, yeah. No, I see what, yeah. I see what you're saying. Cause yes, it could mean two different things potentially. Right. So let's go with the hard stone marble. Cause that certainly is more interesting. When I think of stone marble or a stone couch, I think of statue. I think of, um, cold. And then with couch comfort, a couch is supposed to be luxury, comfort, relaxation, release, but this couch is statued and cold. And what happens when I think about that, knowing that Haley is a singer, songwriter and performer, that this is a persona, this is, um, oh God, we're sitting on the idea of a couch. <laughs> mm-hmm. We're sitting on a picture of a couch, right? right. So it's almost performative, mm. the couch itself. All right. I'm going somewhere with this. It's starting to take a little bit of shape, right? Okay. okay. Hold on. And then I want to come back to stone itself. Okay. I'm sitting on the, in this performative situation that's actually not comfortable, but it's stone cold and it's in concrete. So it's set in stone, permanent. And I'm sitting with Taylor Swift and Shawn Mendes, also celebrities. Mm -hmm. So we're sharing in this space of performance. So this is a persona that I'm putting forth. 
but we're playing board games, which is so family bonding, humble. It's this opposite of celebrity. It's like, no, we're just playing board games. Let's see who wins. So it, it makes this dream a really warm expression of almost like Haley is like really enjoying relaxing and being genuine in herself in this stone cold celebrity setting. Does that make sense? Oh my gosh. I just love this interpretation because I'm like, (laughs) I would have never, I would have never thought of that, but it totally makes sense. And especially the people that she's, I mean, these are high profile celebrities, right? So they're Mm -hmm. currently really being looked at by everybody. And I think for a lot of people, they think, oh, that sounds like heaven, but it is, it it becomes a burden when Mm -hmm. that's all, that's your Mm -hmm. life is all ways people looking at you, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In this particular dream, it's like there's this level of comfort and relaxation that is reached, even though we are in this celebrity culture, which is cold and based. So the, which is cold. Let me finish my first thought and then I'll jump to the next one. (laughs) It's like, it's like their roommates are roomies in college almost. Like they're just sitting Mm -hmm. around playing board games on a couch, but the couch is what's showing or indicative of this is not a, it's not real life. It's a statue. It's a persona performance. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing that keeps bugging me from the background is like Instagram and selfies, because those are still pictures. Like a marble couch would be a still statue. I feel like if this were my experience, if I were Haley and I had this dream, that I would be recognizing that there's some part of me is shifting into genuine comfort or genuine expression. And I can sort of trust my own voice even in the celebrity arena. Mm. My thought was, and Haley, we're speaking for you. (laughs) Anybody's welcome to come on the show with us. Lovingly, Um, respectfully. Yes, respectfully speaking for you, Haley. But (laughs) if I was Haley, that, you know, if there was a part of me that didn't realize how much I was separating those two, right? So let's say Mm -hmm. I'm so immersed in my performing life Mm -hmm. that I'm not aware of the separation of comfort from that, right? Mm -hmm. Where that world is not comfortable anymore, Mm -hmm. or maybe it never was. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's important. Again, you know, we talk about how dreams are healing and they're to help you. And if you're somebody like Haley, who has this dream, and this is the interpretation, it's almost like, okay, well, I need to make sure that I'm aware of the fact that internally, I feel there's a separation almost, Mm -hmm. right. And I'm trying Mm -hmm. to bring these worlds together and make them work. The I don't know who won the game, right? Yeah, it's almost an invitation to like go have more fun, go have more fun and go find out who yeah. wins. Like, there's this really fun ending to that dream. I love it. I love it, and I love your interpretation. So, if you want to hire Pam for sessions, she is available to help you with your own dream work. Uh, sweetgeorgiapam.com is where you can find out all about Pam. And if you go there today, thank you for listening to the podcast. You can get a downloadable guide. It's free, 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 free called Six Nights to Better Dream Recall because I'm always worried about people who are frustrated that they want their dream interpreted, but they can't even remember their own dream. Well, Pam's there to help. Six Nights to a Better Dream Recall. Now, downloadable for free on SweetGeorgiaPam.com. You can always direct message her as well on social media, Sweet Georgia Pam, and leave comments here on YouTube, and we would love to interpret your dream as well. All right, Pam, my love, I hope you have a great rest of the day. You too, and sweet dreams to all the listeners out there. Thanks. The content in this podcast is for entertainment and educational purposes only. Pam Muller is not a licensed mental health professional. If you or someone you know suffers from severe, persistent nightmares, please seek medical help.